Sup guys, GMG, starting the day after Girl Man Way, or Girl Woman Way, whichever way it doesn't really matter. So today, Method 5, Step 5, Part 5, whatever you want to call it, of my 10 ways to make a million coins, easy and quick. You gotta buy early batteries while they're down, guys. I should have recorded this video when they were about 20k, because even now you'd get a profit of about 7k um, a badge. They're going for about 30k right now, so it's still not that bad, but... I mean, I get them even want the 30k, maybe buy about 10 of them, 20 of them, if you have the coins, if you just, if, if you're sitting around 60k, or even 30k, I mean, I wouldn't buy it if you have 30k, but if you have 60k, go ahead and buy one, it's not that big of a deal, um, you're gonna end up making coins, for sure, because they do always end up going back up in price, my friend did this the last time, um, he bought them for about 30k each. I think he might have got 15, maybe he got 30 or something around them. He's pretty, um, he's pretty, he's a high roller, and he sold them for about 60 to, um, 70 or 50 to 60k. And um, he did bank in on that. So that that's that's another that's a good way get cards, not cards, but those badges while they're um down. But without further ado, let's get into the the. The thing of the day, I, I call it, I guess. Final edition, Emmanuel Sanders. No one has them up, but they do have the card that you need to get them up. So let's take a look at those. I know you have Lawrence Timmons, um, Cole Beasley, and a bunch of other cards. But let's look at Lawrence Timmons right now. 92 overall MLB. He has a run stuff. Um, a tri not a tribute style to him. I don't. I don't like this card. Not what. Not one bit. Like at all. Um, the stat. You 84 block shed. It's not going to be a good blitzer. 90, uh, 78 zone. Not going to be a good cover guy. So I really don't know how you'd use him catching 67. If you have like a a budget that you that you're on, or you don't just don't have that many coins, or maybe if you're just a Steelers fan, go and get this card. Um, that's the only reason why I'd say get it. There's so many other cards that are better than this card, so I just don't like it. You you can't really rush him. His block shed, um, you know, of course, the 84 power move and spin move aren't terrible, but I mean, like, you can get better cards. It is an MLB, but I mean, like, if you're running a 4 3 3 4, you don't want him in coverage, you don't want him blitzing. Just, I mean, that's not one of the better cards. The CB. Kenan Lewis is a good card. 96 um zone, 92 man. That's this is what they're giving pretty much. I don't want to say basically cards, but you know cards of that nature that go into sets. You know um movers cards. They're getting the CBs about the same stats, but the thing that makes this one different is his hit power. It's it's phenomenal for a CB, so it will fit in your schemes. It's a pretty good man coverage card, so I'd use it for that. I mean, I think it's, it might be better, his hit power might be better than Ultimate and Dion, so I don't, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it might be, it's better than, like, I think every other CB out there, as far as hit power goes. So, this would fit in your scheme if you want to hit, like, a hitting CB, or if you have a multiple, um, hitting, like, hard hitting CBs, a bunch of hit power, a bunch of fumbles will be coming your way. You will, you know, get that. He is a game changer just based off of his hit power. So, I mean, this will, card will win, win you some games. So, I'd pick this card up. Not a bad card whatsoever. Stamina, he'll be in there for a while. Um, hit power again, 77. Impress, 93. It's not a bad card for covering. Um, Catching isn't great, but that hit power makes up for a bunch of it. And next, you do have this Jonathan Hickens, DT. For the Giants, I know his gold card was pretty good when I did have him back when the muck first came out. Black Shed 97, Power Move 93. I don't know what to say about this card, guys. Um, it's good if you're on a budget as well. It's a, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. But um, there's again other cards that you can get for cheaper that are better. So I don't know. It's only 97 and 94. So um, it's not the worst by any means it's on the top tier of the um dts but um i mean i just wouldn't get this card i'm not gonna buy any cards at all but i just wouldn't be getting this card you do have hit power 91 which is pretty good and then this cole beasley 
Um, this is just a slot receiver. I don't see the point in getting him, to be honest with you. Um, you can just pay about 50k more for maybe 60k for um, a T.Y. Hilton that's a much better slot receiver than him. His height, um, I think T.Y. Hilton might be two inches taller. I don't know, but um, his speed is way better. T.Y. Hilton's it's catching, catching traffic, um, run block, and everything is just I don't know if run block, but his awareness and everything is better. Catching traffic, catching, carrying is better for T.Y. Hilton. It's only 50k more. But if you don't have 50k and you want a good slot receiver, go and get this Cole Beasley. It's it's not bad for it's not a bad wide receiver card, but it's not like if you're if you're looking for a slot receiver, there's so many more um slot wide receivers that you could get for cheaper that maybe even gold cards. Release is good, so I mean that's all I can really say about that Cole Beasley. And carrying is kind of kind of bad too. Um, I'm just taking this gold these gold badges because I, they might have gone down, but it looks as if they gone up. Just be trying to get those elite badges. You can go. You don't have to snipe them. They're at a pretty comfortable price where you just go and get them. So I'd say go and get those um, elite badges. Get as many as you can now. Then resell them. You will end up getting a bunch of coins. So that is a good thing. Go and get it. Um, as, uh, along with my other methods, you'll have a million coins in about a week if you keep doing it. You can't stop. But uh, let's see if anyone does have them up. Maybe they'll have them up now. We're going to look at TY stats real quick. Maybe compare them to um, Emmanuel Sanders. So he is one inch um, taller than Cole Beasley. And they do not have an Emmanuel Sanders up for some odd reason no one has them up. I, I, the final edition cards aren't that high right now, but I don't know. They do have this Mick lead. I s never sniped him, but um, I, I thought I sniped him at the time, but it's not a snipe. So make sure you guys, when you guys are sniping, you know the price. Um, I go to the EA Sports, um, the EA Sports website thing, um, and it gives you of the last time you know the cards were bought. So I look at those, see what prices they're. Most people are buying them out now, buying them at now, and then um, post them right about there. If I'm not sure, I don't go to Mutthead just because. I mean that's just what people you know that think they're going for. The other one, I mean I I don't know if Mutthead does this too. So um I just ha I just don't go to it. But on um, with the A Sports thing, it just actually gives you the prices that people bought them at. But um, this is pretty much going to be the end of the video, guys. I'm going to be on here for a couple more um, seconds, but just going to sign out now. So, Chuck the Deuce, God bless, see you later, CTD, and until next time, it's your boy, GMG, and I'm out. Again, God bless, enjoy your day, enjoy your family, and you know. Just live life, move forward, don't focus on the bad things. Goodbye.